power up the board with a 6 volt uh, and 500 milliampere current trading and then you have to you know connect the uh, USB to UART cable to the board and uh, the one end goes to the UART 0 terminal of your board and other end goes to the USB port of your computer or laptop whatever that you are using for programming uh, you have to make sure that you have uh, right driver installed and right COM port has been selected. Once you have done everything, then you just have to use the flash magic and write the code into the LPC to 148 microcontroller. So when we connect serial to USB converter first time to the computer, we see something like this. We can see there is a yellow uh, warning symbol is here at the COM27. It means that we don't have install the drivers that we need to have for our serial to USB converter so first thing we have to do is we have to install those drivers so I have copied these drivers on the desktop so here is a driver that we need to install so let me install this first hit on next and hit on next again it may take for a while so as you can see right now there is a silicon laboratories and device updated it means now we have installed the drivers that we need to have so hit on finish and if we go back now to the device manager we can see the com port 28 has been recognized and LO symbol has been gone so now we have successfully installed all those drivers that we need to have for our cable so close this so let's have a look at flash magic tool We will be using this flash magic to upload the hex file into the LPC2148 microcontroller. So first make sure that you have right device selected that is LPC2148 in this case. And then you have to make sure right COM port has been selected. Here in this case it's a COM27 so just make it 28. Then you have to make sure the baud rate 38400 is good to go with. And then make sure the interface ISP and then make sure again the frequency that we will be clocking so it's a 12 megahertz and everything is okay right now so just go to option and hit on advanced options and you have to find this hardware config uh, tab in this hardware config you have to check these two boxes and then hit on ok okay so most of the things has been done we just have to check some more boxes here so erase block used by hex file that we have to check and then we have to check this verify after programming okay then we only need to browse the hex file that we want to load into the microcontroller's flash memory so hit on browse uh, i have created the project on a desktop that is a blink that's a blink example so let me select this hex file and hit on open and then just click on start once I hit on start you can see the loading has been done and now you can see our device that is LPC2148 has been programmed and as you can see right now this uh, LED started blinking I hope you can see it I'm not sure the lights because they are not pretty interesting at the moment but you can see LED is blinking so let me change the code let me write another code and uh, in this uh, application I will show you how to give the input human input to the switches to the microcontroller so let me write another code and you can see this um, LED stop blinking right now so now it's been done now it's been programmed so let me uh, press this LED one so when I uh, I'm sorry it's not a LED one it's a switch one so when I press the switch uh, you can see this LED will glow I'm not sure you can see it but when I press this uh, okay let me hold this uh, kit this way and when I press this switch number one you can see the LED will glow the second third and the fourth I'm not sure you can see it in the camera or not but uh, you know I think uh, this is enough to show you that the things are working fine.